Can we call him a tyrant? Someone who lives in luxury while his people starve? You will answer this question after watching this video. The North Korean imperialist is believed to have revived the tradition carried out by his father, Kim Jong-il, which is the Pleasure Squad. Stick around to know why the organization was first disbanded. Welcome back to Timeless History. In this video, we will be discussing the facts about the Pleasure Squad, a secret organization in North Korea. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more videos about shocking truths in history. Bleat Hope When Kim Jong-un became the first North Korean leader to meet with a sitting U.S. president, many hoped it would signal a break from the nation's wrong past. But it doesn't seem to go that way. As reported by The Sun, Supreme Leader Kim revived his late grandfather's pleasure squad of secret sex entertainers in 2015, three years before meeting Donald Trump. In 2020, it is to be noted that the dictator's location and state of health remain a mystery. Some report that he fled to a luxury resort in a port city along the east of the Korean peninsula to avoid catching COVID-19. Foreign intelligence services also said his long absence was because of the pandemic and he is secured in a luxury compound. What they do? His pleasure squad pleases high-ranking North Korean officials within the walls of his ultra-protected palaces. This 2,000-strong harem is said to be made to sing and dance for the nation's elite. Not only that, but they also take part in weird sexual games and orgies. What made this even more disturbing is that some members of the Pleasure Squad are said to have been as young as 13, and they were taken directly from their school into prostitution. Kim, widely known for his love of booze and fine food, will surely find his carnal pleasure satisfied with the Pleasure Squad. Defectors from North Korea even confirm that the girls have to go through invasive medical examinations to prove they are virgins before they can join. The Pleasure Squad, otherwise called Kipomjo, began during the reign of North Korean founder Kim Ai Sung, who was still considered the nation's eternal president despite his death in 1994. In the late 1970s, the height of his power, he sent officials to scour the nation for its most beautiful young women and girls to act as singers and dancers. Although some later worked as maids, most sexually attractive were commanded to become comfort women for the powerful officials, especially Kim Ai Sung, who liked virgins since he believed having sex with them enabled him to absorb the girl's life force. Whenever these girls were to be picked, the authorities would tell their parents that their daughters were on an important mission to serve the supreme leader, and they had no say in the matter. The girls would then be kept in party leaders' residences and had to do whatever they were told the girls would be sorted into different units. Some were expected to dance and sing, while others primarily gave massages and were sometimes sent overseas for training. A third group of this squad named the Manjokjo is explicitly tasked with providing sexual services. After these girls finished serving the leader and high officials, officers in the North Korean military often took them as wives, and that would be during their 20s. When the founder of this vile group died, his son and the next supreme leader, Kim Jong-il, maintained the pleasure squad and had a string of mistresses to boot. Other members of the Kim dynasty were said to exploit the girls too. Defector's Story Kenji Fujimoto was a sushi chef who worked with the Kims between 1989 to 2001. In an interview with NK News, he said that Kim Jong-il's brother, Jang song Thae, auditioned girls for the dictator during his reign. If they were singers, they would sing right there, and another audition is for the dancer, where the panelist would ask them to raise their legs and all that. Fujimoto continued that to get the auditions, girls would have sex with Jang Song Thaek first. Jang was, however, executed by the firing squad on the order of his nephew, Kim Jong-un, because he was perceived as a threat to Jong-un's authority. Although only a few details of the squad's activities had been made to anyone outside North Korea, a woman known as Mai Haiang defected to South Korea in 2010, claiming to have been in the Pleasure Squad for two years. She said she was recruited when she was 15 and in school. Lee Eunam, Kim Nai Sung's nephew, also mentioned the Pleasure Squad in a memoir he published in exile shortly after his murder in 1997. He painted a picture of wild parties at Kim's Pyongyang residence, which could last until the early morning, focusing on sex and booze. Let's note that the routine of the parties is eating, drinking, and dancing, but it usually ends in erotic games. One such game is where the loser has to take off clothes one by one. 
it was enforced no matter the gender. Whenever they are heavily drunk, they also play a hair shaving game. If men lose, part of their head hair will be shaved. If it is women, their pubic hair would be shaved. Lee added that some parties were solely based on sex, and this usually occurred when Kim was in a particularly good mood. This group was disbanded in 2011 when Kim Jong-un came to power. He trusted no one in his father's administration, including the Pleasure Squad girls. Professor Tashimitsu Shijimura, a North Korean expert at Tokyo's Waseda University, said the women who entertained his father knew many secrets, so they were disbanded with the order not to reveal any information. Each woman was also given a payoff of around $4,000, a staggering amount in a country like North Korea. For four years, this squad was completely disbanded. But in 2015, reports emerged that Kim Jong-un was hunting to recruit new girls for his pleasure squad. Which description can you give to a leader of such a caliber? Let us know your answer in the comment section. If you liked this video, please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on other videos.